Yo, what's going on guys? And this is Yon here bringing you another video on the channel. Now in today's video, I'll be talking to you guys about how you can transfer your saved files from your PlayStation 4 to your PlayStation 5. But before we get started with today's video, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to keep up there with the quality gaming content on the channel. I'm trying my best to provide you all with the best and quality gaming content as soon as I possibly can. I'm trying to push out as many videos as I possibly can. I just got my PlayStation 5 today, so it's been kind of hard, it's been kind of long, but a like or something in the comments that will just make my day so now without further ado let's go ahead and get started into today's tutorial so if you have your playstation 4 console and you do not have playstation plus i'm going to show you the first method on how to do this now what you'll have to do is take a usb stick or a usb drive make sure that it is formatted and it is ready to go and you're just going to go ahead and plug it into your playstation 4 console now once you plugged it into your playstation 4 console you're going to go onto your ps4 under settings go down to application save data management go under save data in system storage and go to copy to usb storage also make sure that your usb is obviously plugged in and then you can click the option button and select multiple applications and then you can just save all and select all and just copy that onto the usb it'll take a minute but once it is done uploading onto your usb you can then take the usb stick move it into your playstation 5 console and once you are done that i'll catch you guys when i'm on the playstation 5 now, once you're on the PlayStation 5, what you're gonna wanna do is go back to the main menu. It's very similar to the PS4, you go down to settings, then you go down to save data and game app settings, go down to save data PS4, then you click on USB drive, then click copy to console storage. Now, once you do that, it's gonna take some time to detect your USB. Now you'll see here, you can click select all and then copy that to your PlayStation 5. Now, this is actually much easier in my opinion to do because then you can just copy the files that you are playing on your PS4 or PS5, sorry, because some games on your PS4, you might not wanna play on your PS5 anyways, or they might just be old wasted save data that you just don't wanna update anyways. And also I'll leave an iCard video on the top right of the screen as well as down below in the description about how you guys can manage your system storage on your ps5 it is pretty small in general and i'll just give you some tips in that video on how you guys can make it better it'll take a little bit of time to go ahead and copy the storage but once it is done then you can go ahead and back out of that now say for example you have playstation plus and you don't you don't want to use usb or you don't have a usb this is actually much more quicker i guess you can say it isn't as convenient but it is much quicker what you need to do is just it's already saved onto your playstation plus all your files are already there you're just gonna go down to save data on ps4 and then you go down to cloud storage now once you are under cloud storage you'll be able to see that you can download it to console storage that's an application and all of your saved files are already in the cloud you can just go ahead and copy them right into your ps5 and then essentially that's it you guys can go ahead and access all your playstation 4 games play them and do whatever you want with this so that's been it for today's video if you guys have any questions comments or concerns please be sure to leave it in the comment section down below i'll try my best to answer every single question down there it's been a bonizion and i'll be catching you all in my next video goodbye